Yeah. No, having to climb in. That's what I'm saying. Just about a flight ticket. But guess what, bitch? It's Memorial Day. The flight tickets are high. How about that? Cash at me. Oh, my shoulder fell down. I mean, I fell down by. Oh, shit. <laughs> You can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Let let all the- I'm negotiating Alright y'all, I'm in my post office My next post office appointment Hopefully I get my massage today But they definitely will hit my mouth about Tuesday I mean about uh, Saturday Because that was unacceptable Shit didn't make no sense But, alright Well uh, Alright, I'm in the back, y'all. About to get a massage. And, um, they kind of pissed me off because I asked the girl in the front, like, is there any way that she can kind of, like, double dip, like, double massage me because I wasn't able to get, you know, my massage done on Saturday. She was like, oh, so you want to pay for two massages? I was like, no, I don't want to pay for two massages because I can get a massage done Saturday. And I'm going to get another one done on, on Tuesday, which is today, when I leave, or whatever. And she was like, oh, we can't do that, and you will have to pay um, $85, and massages are only 15 minutes, mind you, or whatever. So I was like, that was very, that, that's very inconsiderate, because y'all masseuse called out on Saturday, which means I've been in pain for the past, what, three days, or whatever. But you know what? Because I'm off a of perk right now, and it is like 7 in the morning, I don't even have the energy to go back and forth with them. I was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's okay. Give me my massage today, and then I'll do the rest of the massages when I get home. So, we leave today, y'all. So, I had to sign a, um, a medical form that I'm saying, basically saying that I'm leaving against medical um, medical advice or something, girl. I don't know what it was, but I had to sign something stating that I'm leaving before seven days or whatever. So, they um took some pictures of me just now. Or oh, so, so, social media or oh, whatever. But I feel better than I felt on Saturday when I came in here, bitch. When I came in here on Saturday, bitch, I was I was terrible. Like, bitch, baby girl, like, I was no good, y'all. Like, I felt real bad. I felt real bad Saturday, but I feel better today. <clears throat> my throat feel better. I think they gonna probably take these little Q-tips and stick them right in my incisions to open them up these little q-tips right here stick up in my decisions to open them or whatever because they're closed now so i don't know how that's gonna feel but i did pop a perk so i should be fine oh i'm tripping get it right she went upstairs to get my doctor because i haven't seen dr grace since surgery so i think I need to be seeing him before I leave. So she went upstairs to go grab him or whatever. Um. 
right. Let me show y'all my results. Oh, hey, hello. Oh, hi, Dr. Green. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right, y'all. My doctor just came in. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm about a six. I took a perk this morning for this, so. You still take antibiotics? Um, yeah. Yeah. Have you eaten today? Um, not really. I ate a donut little bowl, but no. Has I've been drinking Gatorade though. Today's your first massage? Yeah. Okay, awesome. You can move your arm, maybe like face down, head this way for me, and move that way. Okay. That massage, y'all, was the worst. If that massage felt like this today, I can only imagine what it would have felt like on, on, on Saturday when I was like fresh out of surgery. But, um,. Yeah, I feel like the, she could have did a little better with the massage. The massage, she did good. I got like the little arch in my back now because she, you know, definitely massaged the fluid around um, so it wouldn't build up. So I got like the little dip, like the little arch in my back. But I do feel like she could have did like a little bit better with far as trying to open up my incisions to get more fluid out of me. Like she opened up one incision and drained up drained out a little bit of fluid and that was it i could have sworn you know when you come get your massages done because i didn't watch so many bbl vlogs they at least try to open up the two two incisions down here at the bottom of your stomach to try to push that fluid out of there she opened up one of my incisions and drained out that little bit of fluid and that was it so i had asked her i was like you don't open up the incisions and try to drain out everything she was like oh sometimes i do sometimes i don't all the girls y'all i'm gonna Child. I'm not gonna do it in this vlog, but me aesthetics, baby. Y'all, I'm gonna do a, a full fucking review on y'all on how I feel about how y'all handle things. Okay, the surgeon, don't get me wrong, my surgeon cool, Dr. David Gray. I recommend him to anybody, like, he's real cool and he's real down to earth. But it's the bitches that he has working underneath him, like, they don't care. And you can tell some of them just here for the money. They drive in Benzes and BMWs and shit. They just here for the money. They don't really care about their patients. They don't care about patients at all. Shit is crazy. But um, I'm done with my massage, y'all. I decided to put on some tennis shoes today because some slippers was tearing my heels up. I needed some supportive shoes. So I got on my tennis shoes today and my dress that I had on yesterday um, or whatever. I'm going to go back to the room, get in the shower, and put my faha and my phones and my boards back on. But, yes, y'all. Massage was horrible. It hurts like hell, but it's definitely worth it. So, when I get home, I'm going to get some more massages done. Whatever, but I'll see you guys in a minute. You said what? The hell is off. Can I cannot hold off on perks. Perks are meant to be taken. I know, come on. Y'all, I'm in so much pain. My cousin told me not to drive. But my dumb ass don't want this. Well, I'm not driving. My baby dad driving, but she told me the ride home is gonna be very unpainful. I mean, unpainful. Mm. Very painful, very uncomfortable. We were just in traffic for how long? For two hours. Coming out of Georgia. Are we still in Georgia? Well, we was a standstill traffic for two hours. So, I started feeling nauseous and lightheaded. My butt is burning. My stomach is burning. My cousin told me, don't drop. It's a uh, fly or something right there. Oh, right there. No. Uh-uh, you do all. It's not a no. Uh-uh, that's not about to get it. A fly? No. Nah. No, I thought it was a fly. I don't think it was a fly. It was a different type of bug. I don't want no bugs on me. It was a bug. 
Uh, all right, I'm about to pop a perk because I'm in pain. And we still got like, what is it, nine hours? Don't be dumb like me, y'all. Fly, okay? Fly. Fly, that's what I'm gonna say is fly. But, I have perk. We all hungry. We at the Southern Smokehouse. <laughs> It don't open till five. Like, really? go back that way probably um i don't know so we i don't, I don't know i can't see what's ahead of me because i'm faced the opposite way so i i don't know honestly hey bone can you help me Right here for me. With both your hands. Can you feel can you feel right here for me? Yeah, I feel good. Like fluid, right? Bon, can you take this off for me? You want a girlfriend? No! No, I don't. Come on, bro. I'm trying, baby. Why can't I take it off? I can't. I'm trying, but I can't. Why do you need to take it off? Because. Why is it there? <laughs> Take off like a shower? Yeah. So as you pull it, you just keep on putting the water on the sticky part. So to lube it up. You get what I'm saying?
Stop day. I want to say post stop day five. I think I don't know, y'all. I think by, by by now my videos are like all over the place. I don't know. This is like post stop day five, I think. But um, yes, yeah, I'm in pain today because um, I went to bed last night and um, I went to bed at about I want to say about one one thirty. And um, after my uh, baby daddy had rubbed me down with the um, arnica gel and the oil, because my skin was really dry, the elastic from the um, compression stockings around my legs is like starting to ir irritate in my skin. It's making me itch really bad. And then when I scratch, I scratch so hard, so it's making my skin burn. Um, and then mind you, the soap that I've been having to, having to use, the soap that they gave you, the Hippocleans, you still have to use that even after surgery, so it's drying my skin out. But um, after he brought me down last night, I laid down. I took two Tylenol PMs. I didn't take any perks last night. I took two Tylenol PMs, and it helped me go to sleep. But um, I didn't get up to walk last night at all. So I've been asleep for about seven hours. I didn't get up to walk, which I think is just downright crazy, ridiculous. I shouldn't have did that. But at this point, y'all, I'm, like, really over it. Like, I'm really, really, really freaking over it. Um, when I get home, 
I'm going to book um me some massage sessions because I do my stomach is hard. Yeah, my stomach is hard, and I just I just really feel like I'm going to end up getting um fibrosis. I really feel like I'm going to end up getting fibrosis. <laughs> Stemming from Saturday when I was wasn't able to get my massage, and then going to see the massage therapist um, at Mio Tuesday, and she didn't really she didn't do anything honestly. It was a waste of eighty five dollars, and it was a waste of time or whatever. So I can't wait to do an update, you guys, on my body reveal and also a Mia Aesthetics review. Um, and mind you, I'm saying Mia Aesthetics review, not the surgeon. Doctor Gray was amazing or whatever, but it's the people that work under him. But yeah, so I just want to get on here really fast and tell y'all I, I am in, I'm in pain today because I slept all last night and I did not get up to do my normal walks like I supposed to or whatever. So my body is like really, really stiff. But I did sleep in my phones last night as well as my backboard. Um, you're not allowed to sleep in your ad board. Um, you do have to put that on during the day, but you're not allowed to lay on your stomach or sleep with that on. So you have to take that off. We're about to get on the road We're in North Carolina. So y'all last night that we had to stop because the car ride was very uncomfortable for me like I couldn't go Ugh. I couldn't go anymore I couldn't go anymore y'all like we had to stop but we about to eat some breakfast they ran upstairs to get some breakfast for me because I'm starving hopefully they had good breakfast because the breakfast was free but you know sometimes they got free breakfast all they got is um oh I was just telling them what, um yeah I was like hopefully they got some um good breakfast oh look what my daughter got oh look what oh let me see they got some good breakfast here Look at my daughter's food. That looks so That's good. Oh, look at my other bookie guy. He got three little baby waffles and his little sausage. He look good. That's mommy's? Mm -hmm. This is mommy. And who's this? Is that mine? That's you and Oh. That omelet look good. Oh, all right. Hold on, y'all. I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm going to eat. Mommy. What's up, girl? I'm going to eat. Bless you, baby. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I just wanted to do a quick update. I kind of stopped recording um, on the way home. And I have been home for two days. I haven't really been recording much because I've been in a lot of pain. I've been in a, a lot of pain. Um, I don't even know what to say, honestly. Like, I want to give y'all what's real and not really, you know, fake anything to make it seem like, oh, the surgery was just like a, a walk in the park because it's really not. It takes a lot out of you. Like, I'm mentally and physically drained. Like, not being able to pick stuff up. I'm not able to sleep on my side. I'm not able to sleep on my back. You know, I'm sleeping on my face and on my stomach, which I never do. So, my face is swollen. Pulling up on my arms, something that I never had to do. My arms are swollen. My shoulders hurt like hell. Felt like I did like 500 push-ups. What else? Um, I don't know, y'all. Like, I just, I think I'm going to cut the vlog the vlogs right here with the BBL and then when I come back on I will just um mainly give you guys an update um talk to you guys about my experience answer some questions you guys may have but as of right now I'm in really bad pain seven days post-op and I feel like I'm in this pain because of my massages. 
I didn't get the first massage that I was supposed to get that Saturday after my surgery. Mia Aesthetics was closed Sunday. Mia Aesthetics was closed on Monday. So I had to wait until Tuesday. Tuesday, my incisions were kind of almost closed. So when I did go to get my first massage three days, three days after surgery, um, the masseuse only opened up one incision. She only drained out a little bit of fluid. I still have so much fluid in my stomach and my stomach hurts so bad. It hurts so, so bad. But then I think that's part of my fault as well because I should have had backup. I should have had my own private nurse that does massages um, on standby just in case something went wrong with Mia. But I don't know, y'all. Like, this is my first time doing a procedure like this. And because it's Mia Aesthetics, you know, I wasn't expecting anything like that to go wrong. Meaning, like, their massage therapist call out and I'm just asked out. But I'm in really, really bad pain. Right now, I'm laying on my couch, on my back. But, um, my feet and my legs are on my, um, I don't even know what this is called, but my butt is hanging. If you guys can see me, I'm not sitting on my butt. Like, I had, like, something has to give, like, laying on my stomach with my stomach having so much fluid in it is like really bothering me and then it's making my stomach basically still look flabby like it, it's not giving that total snatched effect and it may be because too i'm built up with fluid and i'm still swollen um but i thank you guys for watching um i'll update you guys in a couple days i'm gonna try to find some massage therapists in my area hopefully they're mobile and they can come to me because I don't want to have to drive anywhere um yeah I'm just I'm just really not feeling anything right now but if I find any massage therapists I'll definitely share um my experience with you guys and we'll try to record it if they allow um could they allow me to but thank you guys so much for watching me throughout this journey i greatly appreciate it it definitely took a lot for me to vlog edit and all of that and then messed up being in pain but i love you guys you guys good vibe and a vibe with your girls i told you guys that i would definitely um share everything with you so i tried to make sure i did exactly just that but yes you guys i'm in pain <laughs> I'm definitely in pain. And I did poop. I didn't want to leave that out. I did poop. I pooped for the first time yesterday. I pooped yesterday. Six days post-op. I finally pooped. I, oh, my goodness, you guys. Like, it was the worst. It was the worst. Like, the amount of poop that came out of me. Not being able to poop for six days. It was just, like, the worst. But I definitely felt relief. I definitely felt relief. But, yes, y'all. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to hit that post notification bell. Hit the subscribe button. Um, give your girl a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.